What is up? Good morning and greetings, friends. Welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all, it is simply the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. We'll take your calls in our second segment today because in the bottom of the hour, at the bottom of the hour, we have a special guest, Dr. Edward Group, is going to talk to us about nascent iodine. That's coming up at the bottom of the hour, so we'll take your phone calls at 855-660-4261 in our second segment. Try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible. For you guys who want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear us talk about here on the Bright Side, our number or, excuse me, if you hear us talk, uh, want to purchase any of the products you hear us talk about, you can call the Brightside Bed phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to help out the folks in the Philippines dealing with, uh, dealing with the typhoon that occurred uh, 10 days or so ago, we have a link set up for donating food on brightsideben.com. And that's on the upper right-hand corner of the page. If you want to join the Brightside Ben phone team, join the Brightside Ben team, you can click on the Join the Team link on the left-hand side of the page at brightsideben.com. On the right side, on the right-hand side of the page, you'll see a Help Now button, and uh, by clicking on that, you'll uh, be sent over to a web page that has several options: contribution options, one meal, uh, two meals a a week or a month or five, uh, up to four or five weeks of food, uh, and that's Go Foods, uh, I think it's Prepared Foods, Go Go Prepared Foods, something like that, but it's on the right-hand side of the page, brightsideben.com, for you guys who feel up to contributing, and uh, of course, you can always contribute by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, we're going to be talking to Dr. Group at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your calls, our second segment at 855-660-4261. Right now, I just want to finish up talking about glycation of the very important protein, albumin. There's a couple more things I want to talk about without, about albumin. We'll get to that probably tomorrow. We left off our program yesterday talking about uh, the two facets to, to uh, diabetes and dysglycemia, bad blood sugar. The first problem associated with dysglycemia is insulin resistance. As the body stops listening or as cells stop listening to insulin, insulin levels climb. And as insulin levels climb, cells start to divide out of control. Cysts, fibroids, even, up, even cancer can be caused by problems with insulin resistance. Acne can also be caused by problems with insulin resistance and oily skin as well. That's because the cells that produce sebum, the cells that produce oil in the skin, they're called SIBO cells. Actually, they're called SIBOcytes, sebum-making cells, sebum skin oil. And these cells, like all cells, divide under the, uh, under the uh, control of insulin. Elevated insulin means SIBOcyte division as well. So that means you, in addition to having to deal with fibroids, and cysts and polycystic ovarian syndrome and hypertension because the cells inside blood vessels can divide really rapidly too. Now you've got to deal with zits and oily skin. All of this is secondary to problems with insulin resistance as insulin levels climb. The second problem associated with insulin resistance is elevated blood sugar. 
Insulin is like a garage door opener, and as insulin levels go up, what's supposed to happen is the garage door on cells opens up, and the cars, which are sugar, go into the cells. As, insulin, as cells stop listening to insulin, the garage door opener effect doesn't work, and sugar, sugar piles up outside our cell's garage, if you will. And that means elevated blood sugar, sugar... As, uh, elevate, uh, as sugar elevates in the blood, it can react with proteins in the blood. It can cause these proteins to explode. That's called glycation. Glycation of albumin will reduce the effects of albumin. Big problems. So when you have problems with, with um, when you have diabetes, you've got problems with insulin, and you're going to also have problems with glycation, sugar reactions. Sugar reacts with protein. This is especially problematic in the small, tiny blood vessels, especially ta- uh, tiny blood vessels in the eyes. These tiny blood vessels in the eyes can explode, and, and elevated blood sugar is one of the leading causes of blindness. It can also cause problems with uh, glycation or sugaring of the protein in the lens of the eye, and that can cause cataracts. It can also elevate blood sugar. can also cause problems with the valves, glycation of the valves that drain fluid out of the eyes. And these valves are prone to glycation, and the end result can be a problem with the valves opening and closing. Fluid can accumulate in the eye. That's called glaucoma. The macula, the center of the eye, that's prone to sugaring, too. When that happens, the macula will start to degenerate, and that's called macular degeneration. So there's lots of eye problems that are associated with elevated blood sugar. In fact, if you have any eye problems and you're getting older, the first thing that you want to think about is working with your blood sugar. That means using nutrients that help the body process sugar. We said, uh, we've talked about these so many times, the B vitamins, thiamine, especially vitamin B1, niacin, vitamin B3. Uh, taurine, arginine, choline, taurine and arginine are amino acids, choline is a B vitamin-like substance, omega-3 fatty acids can help, uh, can help you, uh, uh, help you process blood sugar, help you process sugar, the minerals chromium and vanadium and zinc. By the way, whenever you're taking zinc, you always want to make sure you're taking a little bit of copper with it. Zinc and copper kind of work together, and if you're taking zinc without copper, your copper levels may end up dropping. So always take a little bit of copper with your zinc, maybe one or two milligrams of copper. I like copper glycinate or copper chelate, along with 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. You'll get all of these nutrients in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, of course. Just another reason why you want to make sure that you're using this stuff on a daily basis. All right, uh, let's see what else. Well, of course, albumin can also glycate. Albumin is super, super important blood protein that we've been talking about uh, for now three or four days. Later on, we'll be talking about some more of the important things that uh, albumin does, especially as it regards protection of the blood vessels. Some physicians actually think that albumin, which is prone towards glycation in the presence of elevated blood sugar, may be a better marker and indicator of elevations in blood sugar than the standard hemoglobin A1 uh, A1C test. That's how powerful the effect is between glycation, between sugar and albumin. One of the most significant effects of sugared albumin or glycated albumin is coagulation, blood clotting, and blood clotting is a serious issue. Blood clotting drugs or blood thinning drugs, anti-blood clotting drugs are among the best-selling drugs in America. And blood clotting is major, major, major sign of degenerative disease, excess blood clotting. The blood is only supposed to clot under serious crisis conditions. Blood coagulation, blood clotting is tightly regulated. If you are dealing with coagulated blood or clotting blood and your doctor told you you need to be on a blood thinner, chances are your body is in an emergency response mode. This is why after surgery you'll typically get a blood thinning drug because a surgical procedure and operation is a major emergency to the body. If you have blood clotting issues, if you have thick blood and you haven't had, you haven't uh, been dealing with an operation or surgery, chances are your body is in a major sympathetic overdrive. That is stress emergency overdrive. Treat blood clotting issues as a sign of an emergency in the body, a biochemical emergency, usually secondary to some kind of degenerative disease process. All right, got a couple more things I want to tell you about albumin, then we'll take your phone calls at 855-660-4261. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, 
Dr. Peter Glinton has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. Good day. Jim Newcomer from Minus Resources, November 20th, 2013. Gold opened this morning at 1261.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1307.59, 653.79 for a half ounce, or 326.90 for a quarter ounce. That's 1307.59, 653.79, or 326.90. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why bank stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the bright side. In the bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Dr. Edwin Group, Edward Group, about uh, about nascent iodine. Dr. Group is an iodine expert, among other things, and we'll be talking to him at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your phone calls here in a minute. I wanted to say a few more. Th- well, you know what? I'm going to say this for tomorrow. I've got a couple more things I want to tell you about albumin, albumin in the skin, albumin as an antioxidant. Uh, we've already said that albumin is a major, major circulatory a circulatory protein. Did you know that plants are also a source of albumin? And you, did you know that there is a relationship between albumin and everybody's favorite food toxin or food allergen? We'll tell you all about that tomorrow on our next Bright Side episode. Right now, time to hit the phones. 
We do have a full board, so uh, you'll have to call in tomorrow if, you've got, uh, if you're out there and you want to talk to us. We'll try to get to as many of you guys as possible. Let's go to Cord in Missouri. What's up, Cord? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, how are you doing? Greetings. What's going on? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll try to be as quick as possible. I actually have three questions. Uh, the first one is about uh, digestive enzymes. I know how yep. you talk about them so much. Okay. Um, I notice whenever people call in and ask and you give them kind of a diagnosis of how to take care of their problem, you okay. usually tell them to take digestive enzymes after they eat. Oh, yes. So, I, I know. I, I see where you're going here. Yeah, and you're saying should you take them before or after, and you've heard about t- people taking them before? Yeah, before. You know, it doesn't really matter. You could take them before, and, and they'll be in there when you're eating the food. But the food's staying in your stomach, you know, for a little bit of time anyway. So when you take the digestive enzymes, they'll be with the food or after your meals. It's still going to contact the food. If you want to be absolutely pristine about how you're dosing, probably you want to take the digestive enzymes before, but it's not that significant. It shouldn't matter. The point is is to have the digestive enzymes and the food in the stomach together. And whether you're taking them after or before, it shouldn't matter, in my opinion. All right, and the other one's about probiotics. Um, yes, I notice whenever you go into like uh, uh, health food stores, um, most probiotics are in the like the refrigerated section. So it was It depends uh, on the brand. The brands are all different. The strains are all different. How the products are manufactured are different. You should go by the directions on the bottle. It depends on the brand. Sometimes you'll need to keep them in the fridge. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes you should take them with meals. Sometimes you should take them on an empty stomach. You've got to go by the brand because all that depends on the type of manufacturing processes and the type of ca- encapsulation and the strains of bacteria as well. So you've got to go by the, the label on the bottle. Okay, and the last question is about apple cider vinegar. Yes, sir. I don't sir. know if you've been around. Um, I know you probably highly uh, approve of the liquid form, but I don't know if you've seen they actually make tablet form. I've of seen those. that. I do like the liquid better. Uh, I do. The liquid's acidic. Uh, the tablets, pro, uh, the tablets or the capsules are probably going to be a little bit acidic also. But then your body has more processing to do. If you swallow the liquid, it goes right to work. I always like liquids better than tablets or capsules. Always, always, always. That's why I like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine so much. Liquids are the preferred dosage form uh, for all ki- all nutrition. And apple cider vinegar is not really nutrition, but I prefer the liquid. It goes right to work. Okay. That's okay. All I have. Thanks so much for your call, Cord. Appreciate it very much. Bruce, my buddy, what's up? Welcome. Ben, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on, Bruce? Well, well, I just wanted to call in today, uh, Ben, and tell you for the last month, based on your recommendations and what you've shared with us on your show, um, I have felt the best that I've felt in 22 years since climbing Everest in 92. Well, wait, 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 wait. Don't just slip that in. You climbed Everest, Mount Everest? I did. I did. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. How long did it take you to climb Mount Everest? I was in Kathmandu and Nepal for three months, so I did it over the course of three months. That's amazing. I had no idea. You never told me that before. So uh, you used the you you did uh, some of the give us some idea of some of the things that you did that you heard on the program. Well, if you, if I took some notes, so I'd like to share that with you if that's okay. I'd love that, but we only have about we only have a minute or two. So and I got a bunch I'll, I'll of. Go, I'll go real. I'll go, go real fast. Quick. I start the day with four drops of survival shield. I, I started off with detoxidine by Dr. Group. I found the survival shield to be more powerful and have an incredible results with one liter of water. I, um, I uh, started the protocol of um, uh, a smoothie with cayenne pepper, One World Way, Trader Joe's Keeper, uh, um, pomegranate, uh, flaxseed, milled flaxseed powder, flax oil, organic Trader Joe's frozen bananas uh, or bananas and uh, frozen um, blueberries, two raw organic eggs, one teaspoon peanut butter, two ounces um, to, to uh, make it a little bit smoother to, to go down of water and just recently, your recommendation was lecithin, and that was the secret ingredient that put me over the tight top. Give me, give me just real, because i got to let you go here, but give me a couple of things that you're noticing. Um, my libido has been um, incredible. My sex drive and libido has been awesome. incredible. Like awesome. I, I'm in my 20s again. My energy level has been fantastic. And more important than almost everything else, with the iodine, Ben, I've noticed that colors when I go hiking, and I hike every day here in the woods, are brighter, the smells are more wow. intense, and my relationship with nature has improved just because of the iodine that's, and the other things we recommended. That's the, that's the nascent iodine you're talking about. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the Survival Shield and Detoxidine. I think Dr. Group created both of them. Yes, he did. He's going to be on at the bottom of the hour here. Thanks so much, because I wish we had more time to talk. Can you call back tomorrow, maybe? Call back tomorrow, uh, buddy, because I, I know you got more to say. Absolutely. I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and thank you. You're making a difference in all our lives. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much, Bruce. And I'd love to hear from. I'd love you to call back tomorrow because I got more stuff I want to talk to you about. But I want to try and get a couple more calls in. Thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it very much. Hey, Mike in Rhode Island. You know, we got about a minute. Um, I wonder, can, you got something quick for us? Just Mike. You, yeah. Pardon. No, you're Mike. I'm Ben. I know that. This poor Mike is what I meant to say. Um, a friend of mine, he had an implant to boost his testosterone, which I think is not really good to do. Okay. And I was wondering if there were natural ways. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing with testosterone. A little bit. Yes, sir. Thanks for your call, Mike. Appreciate it. Um, here's the deal with testosterone. And I see these commercials for androgel and low T, and that seems to be the latest fad uh, health disorder that drug companies want us to be medicated for. If you're dealing with low levels of testosterone, the first thing you want to do is focus on your blood sugar and your insulin. We touched on this yesterday and the day before. We'll probably talk about it a little bit more tomorrow. Testosterone and insulin are interconnected. As our bodies stop listening to insulin, what tends to happen is... Our body stop listening to testosterone as well, and there's also a connection between insulin and estrogen. So insulin resistance is associated with poor androgenic, poor male response or poor bodybuilding response, poor muscle building response, and elevated insulin is also associated with feminization, and that means feminization in men or extra feminization in women. So the first thing to do if you're dealing with low libido or you can't gain muscle mass, you're going to the gym and muscles aren't developing, or you're using your androgel or you're using your testosterone, uh, injections and you're not getting the benefits that you want, what you want to do is look at insulin resistance, look at elevated blood sugar, and I don't care if your doctor told you that you're not a diabetic. It doesn't matter. You could be a pre-diabetic, and that can be have an effect as well. So reducing your intake of refined sugars and upping your intake of building proteins, not just any protein. Every All, all food's going to have a certain amount of protein, or most food is going to have a certain amount of protein. I should say most unprocessed food is going to have a certain amount of protein, but when I say protein for testosterone, I'm talking talking about whey protein, egg protein, meat protein, or animal protein in general. These contain building substances. So more protein, less refined carbohydrates, focus on blood sugar. Uh, and then there's another strategy that you can use to help support the testosterone. We'll talk about that tomorrow. That involves something, a hormone called aromatase. And we'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Uh, that's all we got time for. We got to take Dr. Group here at the bottom of the hour. If we left you on hold, I apologize. Give us a call back tomorrow. We're coming back at you on the bright side with more good health information. Don't go away. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pilla, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. 
to thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. What looks good under your Christmas tree and tastes even better? Big Berkey water filters. Yes, the gift of clean water. A gift that provides a great foundation for achieving good health in the lives of your loved ones. A Big Berkey water filter gives them protection from bacteria, heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, pesticides and herbicides, VOCs and more. And best of all, a Big Berkey water filter is a gift that lasts for many years with no additional investment. And that saves time and money in filter replacements that other water filters require and are even powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. As always, all orders over $50 are shipped free, and GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Order online at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com, spelled Big, B-E-R-K-E-Y, WaterFilters.com, or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-B-E-R-K-E-Y. Gift well this Christmas. Give a Big Berkey water filter. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7. On our archive page at brightsideben.com, you'll find a shopping cart up there with all the longevity products that you hear us talk about. And also nascent iodine, which we're going to be talking about here in just a moment. I'm sure most of you guys have heard about or been hearing about the importance of the mineral or the element, actually, iodine. If you've been listening to Bright Side for any length of time or you've been following my work, you are certainly aware of this really important nutrient, at the very least for its relevance for the health of the thyroid. But iodine, as it turns out, is way, way more important than a thyroid supplement. It's got a special relationship to breast health, glandular health, for the health of the brain, especially the fetal brain the, or the infant's developing brain. Iodine deficiency is a leading cause of cretinism or, or retardation around the world. Iodine is, for the most part, an ocean element. Its concentration in the soil is relatively low, and that makes supplementation very important, especially for those of us not eating a lot of seafood, not eating a lot of sea vegetation seaweed kind of products. For the longest time, the best option for supplementing with iodine has been Lugol's, Lugol's Solution or Odorol, both of which are certainly fine supplements. But now, as our next guest is going to explain, there's a new iodine supplement in town. Well, perhaps it's not really that new. It's technically been around for quite a while. I've blogged about it on PharmacistBen.com. It's called Nascent Iodine, and we're fortunate to have as our guest perhaps the most knowledgeable nascent iodine expert in the world, Dr. Edward Group. In addition to being an iodine expert, Dr. Group is the founder and CEO of the Global Healing Center. He's a naturopath, 
He's a chiropractor. He's a certified clinical nutritionist. He's a certified clinical herbalist. And on top of all that, he's an ordained minister as well and a very, very scholarly and bright guy. I'm honored to welcome to welcome Dr. Group to the Bright Side. Greetings, Dr. Group. Good morning, buddy. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for having me on. It's always nice to talk to you. Same deal. It's an honor to have you on the Bright Side. So what exactly, exactly, exactly is nascent iodine? In, in short, nascent iodine is just an electrified or charged iodine. It's just iodine dot, which means that it's in its atomic form. It doesn't have a, um, it just has an electromagnetic or a paramagnetic charge to it. And that means that it's, it's in the form that the body converts it to anyway. That's the form that the body uses. And, uh, nobody really knew about nascent iodine until it's kind of traced back to Edgar Casey's days when he had the atomidine or the atomic iodine and it was actually used uh, during that time all the way up through the 1900s and what we've done is there's, there was only one process in order to create a nascent iodine, and that was to put a small amount of iodine in a beaker and then set that beaker down into a tube of, into a bath of water and then apply electric current to that to create the charge. Uh, but we, what we did is we wanted to just take it the next step further, and we spent a lot of money and, and over a period of five to ten years developed a system that we could do using basically a uh, thermodynamic, high-energy, sound pulse, uh, nano-emulsion technology to create a nascent iodine in a glycerin form because most of the iodine out there is in an alcohol-based form. It doesn't usually go into glycerin. Like well, just... actually, nobody knew. I mean, we, I had to track down books on glycerin from the, I even got some from the 1800s and the early 1900s. I mean, glycerin is an amazing compound. And I'm talking about vegetable glycerin, non-GMO, USP grade, like high, high quality vegetable glycerin, not just standard glycerin. Right. Most, there. most people don't recognize that glycerin typically is an animal product. So you got to go out of your way to, to create a vegetable glycerin, correct? Yes, that's correct. That's correct. But glycerin actually is an extremely effective medium to hold iodine, and uh, it's it also acts as a preservative as well. So it means mm-hmm. that it and it holds iodine. Iodine is a is a halogen, and it also outgasses and it sublimates, which means in most cases, if you put iodine on something in its natural state, which is extremely toxic, by the way, it's going to produce like a purple gas, and then ultimately it'll it'll go into a gas into the air. So one of the good, beautiful things about glycerin is it actually holds Hmm. the iodine longer in solution than it would if it was in an alcohol-based form. So what we wanted to do was just revolutionize the whole nascent iodine industry by using a USP vegetable glycerin and then running it through a processing system, which actually creates a paramagnetic charge in it. And it's safe, and it tastes good. It's not like alcohol, which has a drying and puckering effect. It tastes delicious, actually. It tastes delicious. That glycerin makes it taste really sweet. It's, it's actually it tastes quite awesome. You got to be careful. You don't. You can. Can you do too much of this stuff? You know. Even in studies where people have taken, I don't even think 150 gram, um, milligrams would be a massive dose. I mean, that would be something that I would recommend for six days straight if Fukushima blew up or if you're under some sort of nuclear radiation. Uh, 150 milligrams would be 150,000 micrograms. Basically, the thyroid needs about six milligrams a day for normal functioning, and that's about 6,000 and micrograms, as you know, because I know you're pretty much an iodine expert as well. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't think you can take too much iodine. I think that if you did, it would just be excreted. Now, in a case, if you were to, you know, one of the things that I tell people, don't ever go to the drugstore and get the provodone or any of those iodines over there. Those are toxic to the body. Right. The only iodines that are consumable would be, the best form would be in a nascent iodine form. The second best form would be like Iodorol, like you said, or Lugals or something like that. But still, you're looking at those in, well, at least the Lugals, which is a potassium iodide, 
which is a different form and the body has to break it down. It's only about 30 to 40 percent as effective as if you were to take a nascent iodine supplement. Now, and first, a couple things. First of all, does the nascent iodine actually dissolve? Is, is it actually a solution of iodine in the glycerin or is it a suspension? Is it hanging in there like a colloidal kind of deal? <laughs> We've actually contacted multiple labs all the way around the country, and what we think we have is we have a new element that's never been um, done before because we believe that we're actually bonding the iodine into the glycerin matrix, which would be just like an amino acid chelate, like you that's bond, awesome. uh, or just that's like awesome. something that's chelated, which would be hard to test for the original, the um amount of the original, but we've been in the process for over a year now sending out samples to all different types of labs and chemists, and they're basically saying that we need to, to develop some sort of uh, test to prove this, but um, we know it works, and we know it works better, and we know it's safe, and it, you know you can give it to animals too, as a matter of fact. We have a lot of people that are giving it to their cats and dogs because they're animals have the same exact iodine deficiency problems as we do. I mean, we have a whole world that is iodine deficient. Isn't that interesting? You know, I started hearing, I went and saw Dr. David Brownsey maybe 15 years ago do a talk, and that was the first time I'd ever heard of the importance of iodine. So I imagine if you're not up on this, although more and more people are becoming familiar with the importance of, of iodine, iodine supplementation, but I've talked to some endocrinologists, some big-time endocrinologists, and they're, they poo-poo the whole thing, and the medical model is still not hip to the idea that, that we are iodine deficient above and beyond problems with the thyroid. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about... Uh, how iodine is involved in reproductive health as well as in glandular health. But I, what you just said is so fascinating, this idea of, of a glycerite chelate. I'd never heard of that before. Hang, hang tight. I want to finish that up when we come back from our break, Dr. Group. We're talking to Dr. Edward Group about nascent and iodine. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Hey, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, the Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy. Have you ever wondered why farmers can keep their livestock lean and healthy just by feeding them minerals in a nutrient-dense diet? Before markets, they cut off their minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains to fatten them up. So if weight control is this easy, why does the medical system prescribe invasive surgical gastric bypass for humans? The truth be told, according to research, you can avoid over 900 different diseases just by getting 90 essential nutrients daily. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com and order your healthy start pack and get your 90 for life. Or dial 855-301-TEAM. I said essential, not optional, and every day. Easy. 90 for life on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com or call 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. That's 855-301-TEAM. Check us out on the web at sonsoflibertyteam.com at sonsoflibertyteam.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LeSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LeSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LeSig a long time ago. LeSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as
as well. Plus, Lasig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a Vapriot at Lasig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. Lasig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. Wise up, load up at freestrikeguy.com. Now is the time to get the freeze-dried meats, fruits, and vegetables you want from Wise on sale at freestrikeguy.com. This delicious, nutritious food is perfect for your emergency preparedness or outdoor recreational needs. It's the food with a 25-year shelf life you see exclusively featured on the popular Doomsday Preppers TV show. It's the same quality line of food the lovely Marie Osmond has been touting all across America. It's the wise investment in your your family's future that personal finance expert and radio host Dave Ramsey has been talking about. And it's on sale now through Cyber Monday, December 2nd at freezedryguy.com. So wise up. Shop online now or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. Make the wise food choice. It's easy to prepare, easy to enjoy, and easy to buy on sale now at freezedryguy.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to Dr. Edward Group about nascent iodine. Hey, Dr. Group, what's secrets to health? Secrets to Health is basically a video that I came with that explains to people all the research that I did over the years and found really the main cause that's causing all disease. I mean, my main mission was to track back and figure out what causes all disease. You know, I used to have a cancer and degenerative disease clinic back in the late 90s and was one of the first alternative oncologists, at least alternative oncologists, uh, chiropractors in the nation. And uh, we were doing, um, you know, deep cellular cleansing, tissue cleansing, full body cleansing, and using all different types of modalities, such as, you know, ozone, hydrogen peroxide, you know, all the different types of cancer therapies. I was down training with the guys down in Mexico. And my clinic got raided by the FDA, and I was told that we could not do that here in the United States. So my mission was finding out the secret to health. And what I found was, that every single disease out there starts by too many toxins coming into the body and not enough getting out of the body. Mm. And that's the toxins that you're exposed to every single day through the air that you breathe, through the water that you, the toxic water, the beverages, the uh, electromagnetic radiation you're exposed to, the parasites in your body. Mm. And what happened is, that's an, expl- an easy explanation, the secret to health is that all these toxins or the majority of these toxins are entering through your intestinal lining. That's how, that's the main point of entry for all disease causing right. mechanisms yeah. and that people need to learn how to reactivate their own self healing mechanism within and the easiest way to do that is through cleansing and supplementation and, and changing your lifestyle, obviously, and, and avoiding all those chemicals and toxins that you talk about all the time on your show on a daily basis and uh, moving to organic diet and things like that. Well, let's weave this back into iodine because that's what we're talking about, and then you got the whole thyroid connection. Without a healthy, functioning thyroid, you, you can't do what you need to do to detoxify or support digestive health and keep those poisons from entering into the body. And, of course, the key element for making thyroid hormone is iodine. What's the relationship between nascent iodine, or what's the difference between nascent iodine in terms of its effect for the thyroid and, and plain old supplemental iodine? Is there an advantage to you? using nascent iodine as far as thyroid health goes. I know that's really the form of iodine that the thyroid's using anyway, correct? Correct. That's the, that's the form that the thyroid's using. So you just get more effectiveness, um, better safety. You don't have to, you don't have to, the body doesn't have to utilize its energy stores to break it down. It goes straight in. And in an emergency type situation, let's say that, you know, nuclear, something nuclear happens, you want to get that iodine in there as soon as possible. So it, um, that's the you, main thing, yes. Can you lower the dose? I mean, the fact that the, the thyroid is using that form of iodine, does that allow you to use a lower dose of nascent iodine than, say, Lugol's or Iodorol? 
Each individual person is different. I mean, it depends on where they live. It depends on their weight. It depends on if if it's a woman or a man. I mean, usually you want to double the dosage on a woman because their thyroid is twice the size, and they might need more iodine, especially uh, in their system than a man would. And not only that, you have to look at the estrogen consumption that people are eating. If someone is on soy, they might need more because estrogen actually inhibits the absorption of iodine, uh, and we are in an estrogen-dominant mm. society right now. I mean, everybody has soy, and the estrogen is through the roof. And so, Xenoestrogens, um, too, drug estrogens and plastic estrogens, bisphenol A and pesticide estrogens. Estrogen, for the listeners anyway, estro- estro- I'm sure you know this, Dr. Group, estrogen is like a family of compounds, and, and the large majority of synthetic chemicals have at least a, a slight relationship to estrogen. Many of them have a very almost exact, uh, are almost exactly the same as estrogen, at least in the case of many plastics. So, yeah, we do have an, a big estrogen issue. I didn't know that about iodine and estrogen, that estrogen will actually block the absorption of iodine. Is that why fibrocystic breast disease and, and reproductive health issue uh, reproductive health issues are associated with iodine deficiencies. Absolutely, that's a, that's one of the main reasons. I mean, iodine is utilized by every single cell in the body. I mean, it's just it's just it's so important to have iodine. And I'm not the type of person that recommends people have 60, 70 different nutritional supplements and they take them all day every day. I'm more like let's get back to the cause and clean the system out and let your body deal with it and just take you know a few good things to keep your because we obviously can't get the nutrients and everything from our diets. People aren't eating a bunch of raw foods all day long. But iodine is just something that everybody needs to have. Unless you live and you're eating pounds of seafood every single day or you're uh, seaweed, and now you have most of that that's contaminated anyway, iodine right. is just something that everybody needs. And it's it's so amazing the, the effects that it has on every part of the body because if the thyroid's malfunctioning, then something it can right. cause something else to malfunction. That's the so bottom line. Is this, fibrocystic breast disease. Think of how many women have been misdiagnosed with, with breast cancer because they just had fibrocystic breast disease. And, and they've gone through mastectomies and, and gone had the surgery. With iodine. Right, and they've gone through the whole surgical procedure. Even now, now people are doing prophylactic surgery, and, and it could be something as simple as a, as a mineral deficiency or as an iodine deficiency. What about iodine's relationship to things like selenium and sulfur? Are there, are there any, is there any relationship to, uh, in terms of its antioxidant properties or its breast, breast protection properties or pr- protective properties? Well, for, selenium and sulfur are also two major the uh, minerals that are needed, and also I, I think that the majority of people are deficient in both of those as well. I do recommend selenium. Uh, we're actually thinking about coming out with a nascent iodine with selenium in it. Um, That'd be a great idea. Look for people that, that would want that, but uh, for the majority of people, I mean, the number one thing I would say is to get on nascent iodine. If you want to take it a step further, if you want to work with your naturopathic uh, doctor, you know, do some uh, testing and see. They are a synergistic and have a synergistic relationship. I mean, I think you definitely should supplement with a good selenium if you're trying to repair your thyroid with the nascent iodine and then sulfur. I mean, sulfur is just an amazing yeah, it is. Uh, compound that, that people should take. Um, you know, I've used MSM. I've used just regular sulfur crystals. I've used DMSO with people in the past. Um, How about nascent iodine and DMSO topically? You ever explore that? I have not worked with that, but I know the nascent iodine is incredible, um, used topically. I've talked to women that have coated their breasts with it uh, for breast cancer. They, uh, any type of, I mean, anything on the skin, uh, not only the iodine, but glycerin was used uh, back in the day for all different types of skin disorders. It's, it works great for... It's an uh, antibacterial. It's a moisturizer. Yeah, we use it in skin care a lot. Uh, how about using uh, nascent iodine uh, topically for antiseptic properties? Does the glycerite protect it, keep it from being antiseptic, or does it have an effect at all? Like on, yeah. on pimples or on cuts we don't or scrapes? Have any studies because we haven't done studies on it yet, but uh, we haven't had, I mean, we've had people that have used it for burns. We've had people that have used it for cuts, all that stuff. So it does have some some antimicrobial properties. Uh, iodine, you know, iodine also is the only element pretty much, well, you could get into ozone and stuff like that, but is re- completely 
resistant or bug any type of bacteria, virus, mycoplasm, you know, all the microbials, the dangerous microbials, are resi- they're not resistant to iodine. I mean, iodine will kill all of them, and they cannot develop resistance to it. All right, real quickly, we got about a minute, Doc. Talk, I want to talk to you about dosages in the na- on the nascent iodine in terms of drops and milligram or micrograms. How, in ter- just using do- uh, drops as our dosages, what would you recommend? Ten drops, four drops, twenty drops a day for folks, and then also for uh, give us a, a drop dosage for uh, pregnant women as well. Uh, I would recommend about twenty drops a day. Of the one that you're selling over there, the detoxidine, about 20 drops a day. For pregnant women, uh, probably go up to about 30 or 40 drops a day. Uh, pregnant women, you made a good point there because they are, you know, you definitely want to prevent any type of mental retardation, and that's the major cause of iodine deficiency. And, and of course, uh, the only other way to get iodine from food, you're going to have to deal with mercury, and you don't want to be doing that if you're a pregnant woman. So, so if exactly. for, pre- for pregnant women, you say you you think maybe double or uh, 50 percent. Yeah, I would say double, if not add 25, like maybe 30 drops a day if you're pregnant, and uh, if not double. Yeah. Very good. Any I reason don't know why? What the quantity is in the prenatal? They're probably going to be taking a prenatal at the same time, and that probably, if it's a good one, has some iodine in there. It's probably a potassium iodide or something. But still, um, we would want to look at whatever their other sources are. But they should be completely safe. With um, you know, ten to all you have to do is times it by a thousand, but anywhere to about ten to fifteen to twenty milligrams a day. So that would be up to ten thousand micrograms. To 20, in microns. terms of drop, in terms of drops, anywhere from 20 to 30 drops a day. Then, that's correct. Good deal, Doctor Group. Yeah. We got to move. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll be talking to you soon, buddy. Appreciate everything that you're doing. God bless. Good luck, man. Appreciate we'll everything you you're doing. Thanks for having me on. Take care, Doctor Group. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to the Bright Side. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now. One in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. And time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com.